Hey guys, what's up and welcome to Skillcap's best free PvP specs to main for each role in patch 8.3. Whether you're coming back to the game or fancy maining a new alt, these free specs for each role are at the top of their game, having high performance in all aspects of PvP, including arena, battlegrounds and even duels or world PvP. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to show your support. Currently, a large amount of you are not subscribed, which means that most of you are missing out on the awesome Rank 1 Fueled info we drop regularly that will be sure to boost your arena rating in no time. So be sure to show some love and hit that subscribe button. And if you're interested in more content like this, along with gaining early access to all of our YouTube videos, exclusive matchup guides, access to our forums, and the opportunity to get your gameplay reviewed, be sure to head on over to skillcap.com forward slash wow and sign up today. So to kick things off, gliding in at the start of our top 3 melee, we've got Havoc Demon Hunter. Havoc Demon Hunters seemingly have it all, and that's because they do. Corruption has been very favourable to our newest addition to the game. The so-called God Class Demon Hunters bring a multitude of spammable consistent attacks, meaning they do wonders with Gushing Wound, dealing more damage with it than almost any other class. Demon Hunters since their release have been the long-standing kings of melee, having insane mobility, incredibly high consistent damage, and also an abundance of defensive cooldowns. And don't get me started on their self-healing. That's not all though, if you enjoy cyberbullying poor healers, Demon Hunter has access to Mana Rift, meaning you can create multiple win conditions. If you don't kill them with your insane damage, you can just force them to go out of mana. Also, as a bonus, they're incredibly easy to pick up and learn. So if you enjoy fast-paced melee gameplay, then Demon Hunter is going to be a great choice. Rogues have been coasting at the top of our melee tier list for some time now, rarely ever being weak. Right now though, their go-to specialization is Assassination. Assassination excels in picking a target and locking them down with consistent stuns and very high single target pressure. Unlike most melee though, rogues bring a lot of crowd control, having blind, sap and the ability to vanish giving them access to even more stuns and silences. Excelling when paired up with casters, rogues are a great addition to any melee caster lineup for arena. So if you prefer being more strategic in your gameplay but still like being melee, rogue is going to be your best bet. Windwalkers are our third best melee to main for PvP in patch 8.3. Windwalkers are a great addition to any team, being able to flex between melee cleaves and playing with a caster, bringing fantastic mobility paired up with very high damage during their cooldowns. Not only that though, Windwalkers excel at bringing utility for their team, with abilities like Ride the Wind and Tiger's Lust. Recently having their damage buffed combined with the addition of Corruption, allowing them to gain high amounts of versatility has helped them solve their previous issues and has pushed them into our top 3 melee for patch 8.3. Fire Mage is our first caster blasting into our top 3. Mage is no stranger to the top of our tier lists, and now with the go-to spec being Fire. Fire Mage brings a ton of instant burst damage with their powerful combustion dealing unrivaled damage in the blink of an eye. Simultaneously also bringing great control and mobility with blinks, novas, dragon's breath and of course polymorph. Fire Mage is also one of the biggest threats when left a free cast, having great to Pyroblast in their arsenal. Whether you're looking to play controlled games and to set up kills with crowd control or you're just looking to maximize your damage, Fire Mage has compositions for both. This probably comes as no surprise to anyone. Warlocks like mages have always been near the top of our tier lists. Destruction Warlocks are not only the best caster right now but probably the best spec in the game. What they lack in mobility they make up for in tankiness and damage output. Think of them as a super durable turret churning out chaos bolts that have the potential to hit for your entire health bar. One of the most fun specs to play but least fun to play against, 
doing great when paired up with almost any class. So if you're looking to get into PvP or even re-rolling, Destruction Warlock is a great option to main. Elemental Shaman is our third pick to main on patch 8.3. Our only hybrid on this list, Elemental Shamans bring the utility while still packing a punch. If you prefer to support your team, Elemental brings great utility in the form of off heals and totems, whilst also being incredibly disruptive. Having fantastic mobility with Ghost Wolf, making their movement speed unable to be reduced below 100%. Supporting your team is not all Elementals do though. They can really shock your enemies with huge instant burst damage coming from Earthshock and Stormkeeper, making great additions to either Caster Cleaves or even when paired up with a melee in Arena. Last but by no means least, we have our healers. Mistweavers are our first healers to main in patch 8.3. Receiving a plethora of buffs has pushed them over the edge, resulting in them being the predominant healer in almost every composition. Bringing great consistent healing via their renewing mist and statue, great mobility with double rolls and their ability to port, and if your hots are not enough, then Mistweaver also has the highest throughput out of any healer being able to heal through any amount of damage. Even after the recent nurse to their cocoon, it still remains to be one of the most powerful defensive cooldowns in the game. Usually being pigeonholed into healing melee cleaves, Mistweavers now thrive in any composition you put them in, and are a great healer to main for patch 8.3. Our second pick for the best healers to main in patch 8.3 are Holy Paladins. Holy Paladins' biggest weakness has always been how reliant they are on their strong cooldowns, well, the Corruption Ineffable Truth helps to solve these issues, meaning they now get their strong cooldowns back a lot sooner. Not to mention its interaction with the talent Fist of Justice, turning Paladins into the best offensive healer in the game. Making your enemies ponder if they're actually facing a Holy Paladin or in fact a Sub Rogue. If you enjoy having a ton of cooldowns to rotate through to keep your teammates alive, then Holy Paladin is going to be the best healer for you. Discipline Priests are going to be our final healer to look to main in patch 8.3. Discipline Priests are one of the most unique and fun healers in the game. Having the ability to heal solely with their damage makes them great for those players who hate to sit back and heal and want to take the game into their own hands. Having the highest damage output out of any healer and the ability to compete with some DPS, Discipline Priests thrive in setup compositions like Rogue Mage and Jungle Cleave, bringing your team that added damage and crowd control during their setups. One of the hardest healers in the game to master, but well worth it. Alright then guys, hope this video helps in picking you a class to main for PvP in patch 8.3. We here at Skillcatch put a ton of work into keeping you updated on how to play and play around every class in World of Warcraft Arena. The best way for you to show your support and love for the channel, as well as remaining up to date on any shifts in the meta as they happen, is to like, subscribe and share this video. Remember, the content you find here on YouTube is just a taste of the hyper-improvement platform you'll find on our website. If you're serious about pushing arena rating and want to improve, be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching.